Hi everyone, I hope everybody's having a good day so far. Um, I wanted to talk about the Leonardo edit in canvas using mask um, and erase uh, from the perspective of dealing with images with no background. As you uh, know, or I'm, I don't know if I've ever shown you guys, but I'm gonna actually show you now. And oh, by the way, just a side note quickly. The image to image, I'm going to be revisiting that feature because I know I've called it a boring feature, but the fact that they edited it, I think about a month ago, maybe, I'd have to, I'd have, I don't remember the exact date, but they edited this to, to kind of bring this to the fore. I think I might have to revisit and just kind of do a deep dive as to how important it is. I'll keep you posted on that progress, but getting back to this. Whenever we do um, an image in Leonardo AI, you know, we, we have the option to get rid of the background. This is an image I used for a project recently. Uh, so let me go ahead and get rid of the background. It's going to cost me two tokens, not a problem. Um, and then we go back for a second, get out of this. Refresh. And I think maybe that might bring it back up as, let me see, if it actually came up. Ah, there it is. Okay, so you see here, you know, it's a great shot of the figure without a background. You can use it for anything, can insert it anywhere, it makes it easy. But in certain cases, that's not um, feasible. For example, I was using these. Oh, and by the way, one other thing. Whenever I do anything, I beg Leonardo, when I see it start doing this whole cut off the head thing, I do ask it to do a full body shot. As you can see, when I do the generation here, it says full body shot. Now, I even made it so obvious that I said, full body shot with top of the head showing. I don't know exactly what's going on, but apparently I, that was just not in Leonardo's thing to do for the day. And that's fine. So I had to just go into Canvas and edit her and she came out beautifully anyway. Now, whenever I do any kind of image, I always want to have the isolated image just in case I need to pop that character in somewhere. And whenever I do certain images, it comes out beautifully. I mean, I can't complain. Um, it, these are just avatars that I'm creating and I'm actually using a couple of these for other projects. You may recognize this one from my, from my thumbnail. I'm going to be using him even more because I, I like him. I call him Nardo. Uh, whenever we're doing any kind of images like these, they'll come out beautifully. However, there's one image in here that did not come out that great, and I was going to go over how we can edit it. Let me find her. Oh, use her as well. Edited her. She looks beautiful. Ah, this is the one. Great image. I was going to use her because she just looked perfect. I wanted no background. And whenever I went in and I upscaled her, I believe, and I was getting ready to use her, and I said, ooh, let me show the no background image. Let's see, she has no hair. So I said, well, let me go ahead and, and since I'm, you know, I'm decent at editing Canvas, let me go ahead and edit her in Canvas. Right? So let me go in here, edit in Canvas. Now, because she's upscaled, she'll come up much bigger than normal. Let me go ahead and reduce her. And bring this down. Remember, you need to hit the hand if you want to move the entire image down, and then use the select if you want to move this box. So I'm going to make this box 78, 768 by 768. I'm going to put my guidance as that. And I'm going to do stable diffusion 2.1 because I'm not in the mood to get crazy this morning. Um, so uh, now I have it ready that I'm going to play around with it and add something to this image like I have done in a previous um, in a previous video. Now the one habit I have come up with and I'm going to ask Leonardo if they can possibly help me out here is that I've had to go in and find the prompt the negative prompt for this image and really and truly just put it in here. I find that putting the negative prompt in this really helps um, to, to eliminate the waste of tokens in general because it's going to do whatever it's going to do but if you can give it additional guidance that's what this is there for. So I'm going to put in the negative prompt. Control up. 
Good. So it's all the way in there. And then for this particular prompt, um, I'm going to actually modify my normal prompt. Usually I do same background or something very simple. But what I found, <coughs> excuse me, you know, is that the, I, the, the, the preface of, the premise of, if you're more specific, it'll work out for you, really does work here. So I'm going to, I've taken it to just kind of take a look at my original prompt and just kind of copy it for what I need, realistic studying. So I'll use this one, that piece. Okay, so what am I going to do? Um, I wanted her to have, okay, short. Let's see if Leonardo can do short 4C hair, if it knows what 4C hair is. And then I'm going to put in the rest of the prompt that I copied there just to make sure it's more consistent with the image that I'm showing. Um, because there have been times when I've not done that and I can't tell you the things that have come up. I would rather not even remember it. But um, yeah, so once I do that, I can isolate that. So let's go for, short 4C hair. Her situated hair is pretty good here. And now I'm going to show you what I have experienced with when I'm uh, with this program when I'm dealing with images with no background. Let's take its sweet time. Whoa, she's got a pretty good bob there. Um, okay. But what you're seeing here is that she has a background. It's like Leonardo cannot do anything without a background. It won't add to an image that has no background, <laughs> at least consistently, with an, with an addition that is also no background. So that was one of the frustrations that I had that I was like, okay, I, you know, I don't know if anybody else knows about this, but I decided to make a video about it. Um, okay. That one's the closest to 4C, but I'm, I'm going to assume Leonardo can do a little better. Let me cancel this. Bring it down a little bit more. And let's try this one more time to see how it works. Okay, it's it's that's pretty decent, but okay, Leonardo. Okay, that that one's pretty. You know, I like actually like that one. It's a pretty interesting bob, so I'll accept, <laughs> and uh, we'll go ahead and and see what do the same prompt on the other side and see what comes up. Hopefully, it will come up with the other half of that. She's got a pretty interesting bob. Ooh, she looks great. I love her bob. I like that one better. That was pretty cool, too. Actually, I kind of like this one. I'll accept. Okay. Yeah, so as you can see, she's got a background on her. So now, of course, now that I have, um, I have some proficiency in dealing with this I can just basically say I can erase this and then make the mask as big as I need it to be. Maybe something like that. No, nah, it's too small. Um, go there. And then just erase around it. The interesting thing I found about this particular feature is that I am not great at dealing with um, at doing this part of erasing. Um, it always comes out with some kind of a weird edge. And I know those people who are, you know, who are using Photoshop to the hilt can be like, ah, I can do that better than you. And that's fine. Um, but I find that my imperfection in this actually works in the favor. Because it kind of gives, whenever I use the image in, in uh, this bat, no background image and something, it looks like it's got a little bit of a glow to it and it really makes the image pop out. So I don't really give myself too much grief about not being perfect whenever I'm doing anything like this. I just say, okay, she's going to have a little glow. She's going to have a little glow, and then, you know, it's all going to work out. For something like this, I'll, pl I'll really play around with it. Hold on, let me bring this up a little bit. Oh, she got all the way down there. And that's another thing. Whenever I try to do anything, oh, dear, she is missing. Hold on a second. 
yeah okay it okay it all the way down there yeah for some strange reason it does jo it does shop around jump around so whenever i do anything of this nature and i guess i can put down her earring at some place um is that i really just kind of play around with it and just give myself a little bit of leeway and do my best to take out as much as I can um, and then just go ahead and deal with what I've got. But like I said, whenever I have anything and it's not really exactly like the perfect, um, when I'm trying to cut it down, the perfect outline isn't there, then basically I just let it be and it's done. But I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a heads up on, and my chicken as well, and a little bit of heads up on what exactly you can do or if you have dealt with this in Leonardo AI it's not just you it's not very good at doing the no background thing it's a it's a feature that it will do for existing photographs but if you try to edit in canvas it'll give you a background anyway so that's where the work comes in you got to play around with it and now I'm ready to export her download the artwork and I'm going to use her hopefully for some other project because I think she looks fly. So anyway, I just want to give you guys that little uh, news about it. And as I mentioned, I'll keep you updated on the image to image um, because I feel that that is they have basically made it so that when you remix the image, it actually pops that image that you remixed into the image to image box. so You can play around with it. So I figured that if they went through all of that, I'm going to have to take a look, another look at it, so I will do so in a future video. But for right now, I hope you guys are having a great day. And I will talk to you soon and keep you updated on what's going on and how, and some other monster stuff. I have more um, monsters and mythical stuff that I've been playing around with, so that will be there. In just check it out. Check out my page and check out my feed, and, and you'll see all that stuff there. In any case, hope you're having a good day. Talk to you later.